Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics and in this Raspberry Pi video, I'll be showing you how to get started with the Blink application using the Pi. Blink is an iOS and Android application that allows you to control the I.O. of your internet connected devices. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi, a suitable USB power supply for the Pi, connection to a network, a prototyping breadboard, two female to male jumper wires, an LED and a 470 ohm resistor, along with an SD card with a Raspbian image on it. To begin we can insert the LED and resistor into the breadboard, connecting the resistor to the negative leg of the LED. Using the two jumper wires connect one to the positive leg of the LED and the other to the remaining leg of the resistor, followed by connecting the positive LED leg to GPIO 18 on the Pi, and the resistor to a ground pin on the Pi. We then need to download the Blink application onto our device. This is available on both iOS and Android. After installing it onto your device, you can then create a new account or log in with your existing one. To create a new Blink project, select Create New Project. You will then be asked to enter a project title and select your device type. On this screen, you will also find your authentication token. We'll need to reference this later. Then drag your desired control modules into the project. I'll be using a button to turn the LED on and off, followed by selecting Digital GPO 18 as the button's control pin. We can then log into our Pi and run the command sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade, followed by entering this command to install git core. Then run this command to download wiring Pi and enter into the wiring Pi directory using this command. Then build wiring Pi, followed by returning to the root directory. We can then get blink for the Pi with this command, followed by entering into the blink directory and run this command. We can then run this command with the authentication token from the Blink app at the end. Then using the Blink app, press the run button located in the upper right corner and use the button that we created to turn the LED on and off.